Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Uh, I'm not going to read through the full article. I'm going to give you my overview and then we'll just double check to make sure I've covered all of the key points. Uh, there's a link in the description to the article and it's actually an interesting read. It's worth going through. Uh, I'll let you know that it's just got my blood boiled. I don't know why this one in particular. It's it's just making me angry. Um, so I, I don't want to go through the full thing. So I'll just stick with a, an overview. Uh, and it is tragic and I will provide um, a trigger warning. There's going to be some details in regards to the suffering of this deceased child. At the hands of this scumbag here. Oh, sorry, let me change what I've just said there. Allegedly at the hands of this scumbag here so i'm gonna everything i state in regards to uh what she's alleged to have done will be allegations they're not proven at this point in time um so just in case i misword a thing or two so it's in regards to this woman here antonia cannon rather let me scratch that this scumbag here she's 20 years of age she's from nebraska she's been arrested for allegedly beating a five-year-old boy then leaving him in a car while she went to work. And then after finishing her shift at work, she was working at a restaurant. She goes back to the car, discovers that the boy is dead. He's cold to the touch. So he, uh, so she calls 911 and then subsequently takes the deceased boy to hospital. Um, she's not the mother. She's the girlfriend of the biological father. The biological mother is out of the picture because she was charged with child abuse. Um, that's not confirmed to be child abuse of this same boy. I forgot to mention his name. Jalen Hearns. Um, so the biological mother is out of the picture because seemingly she was, she was charged with child abuse. Um, the father... I think it tells us he's currently in jail or he was in jail um, for domestic violence. Um, so this woman, the father's girlfriend, uh, was looking after the five-year-old boy, Jalen Hearns. Um, I don't know why I'm getting angry. I, I think I'm particularly angry because... Uh, this boy, he suffered abuse at the hands of his biological mother, seemingly. I may have that wrong, but the biological mother was charged with child abuse. We can presume it was of Jalen. could have been of another child. But this boy seemingly suffered abuse at the hands of the biological mother. His father gets arrested and jailed for domestic violence. And so he ends up being looked after by this fucking scumbag. Who kills him? And uh, I'm going to go into some of the details of the injuries. So she, the boy was taken to hospital. Uh, the hospital realized that um, the injuries sustained by the boys by the boy were consistent with severe child abuse. So the hospital alerted that to uh, the police, the authorities. Police investigated the manor and this scumbag, this scumbag, Antonia Cannon, just came up with some bullshit excuses. I'm not going to go through the details of that. It gets too convoluted. But she seems to have tried to implicate the biological mother in the death of the five-year-old boy, Jalen Hearns. Uh, she also lied uh, and said that the that her 12-year-old sister was looking after the boy. Um, and then the sister says, no, that's not the case. You're lying. You're full of shit, Antonia Cannon. So she was lying through her rear end about um, to, to the authorities. The article tells us that prosecutors paint a very different picture during a preliminary hearing, uh, claiming that the scumbag actually beat the child inside of her apartment, then put him in the car and left him to die. While she went to work at a restaurant. The initial results of an autopsy showed that uh, Jalen Hearns, the boy, 
was beaten to death and sustained non-accidental non-accidental abdominal hemorrhaging that would cause unconsciousness and death in a short period of time. Okay, so here's a quote from Douglas County attorney Don Klein. He says, that appeared at this point in time to be the most serious injury. He's referring to the abdominal hemorrhaging, the bleeding in the internal organs, but he had other bruising and apparent trauma the child suffered. Um, officers obtained a, and executed a search warrant on Anthony Cannon's home and reportedly found blood and blood sp uh, blood splatter blood spatter along with a splintered striking instrument that prosecutors believe to be the weapon that this scumbag allegedly used to repeatedly strike Jalen Hearns the five-year-old boy I mean maybe this is why I'm getting so angry I think it's an amalgamation of different things here but what a fucking evil scumbag She's 20 years of age. I mean, wasn't she just a child just a few years prior? She's using a splintered striking instrument. Potentially regularly. She's beating a five-year-old boy regularly with a splintered striking instrument. What a psychopathic... Pardon my French, I'm going to use the C word. What a psychopathic cunt. I fucking despise this hideous bitch. Douglas County Attorney Doug Don Klein reportedly said that investigators think that this scumbag left work, realised that Jalen had been dead for a while, then called 911 and drove him to the hospital. The child had been dead for some period of time. Full rigor mortis had set in by the time the scumbag brought the boy to CHI, to the hospital. The scumbag's three-year-old daughter reportedly told investigators that Mama whooped Jalen. Thankfully, following her arrest, uh, the scumbag's two children were placed in the care of the state. Uh, the judge has ordered that the scumbag remains in detention without bond and there's a preliminary hearing for April the 5th. If convicted, she is facing a maximum penalty of 20 years to life in prison. And I think this is another reason why I'm angry. Okay, life in prison. I much, 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 much prefer death penalty. I, w I you know, honestly, I, w I would I'd be happy to... Do it myself. If that were any way possible, I would do it with myself, frankly, with my own bare hands. Uh, or, you know, give me a tool, two to the back of the head, done. I'm actually in the face for this one. Life in prison, in a lot of regards, is uh, pretty satisfactory. It's not really satisfactory, though, is it? It's, it's not satisfactory. It's not going to take uh, bring the boy back it's not going to reverse the suffering torturous suffering that he suffered seemingly for a long period of time she was seemingly beating this poor five-year-old boy uh with a splintered striking instrument on an ongoing basis um life in prison isn't going to change that it's a huge taxpayer expense. I much prefer the death penalty. Um, but this part here, 20 years, 20 years. I fucking hope that this woman does not get out in 20 years time. Let me clarify. She's not being found guilty at this point. Um, I can have my opinion. I feel that she is guilty. I think the police know exactly what they're doing. They've laid it out in this article here. Seems to be cut and dried in my opinion. What do I know? Uh, well, you know, I've got eyes. I've got ears. I've got a brain. I can figure things out. It looks pretty fucking obvious that this woman has done exactly what uh, has been alleged. 
20 years if oh my god if she were to get out in 20 years time i would be so livid i would be so livid imagine if you're a family member and this absolute psychopathic evil again c word cunt was got out after killing a five-year-old boy That she regularly beat with a splintered striking instrument that she had whooped, left in her car for him to die alone. I would fuck, I would just. Okay, I'm gonna wrap things up there. If you have enjoyed or see value in this video, please do like, comment, subscribe. If you need a mental health break, then perhaps check out one of the uh, friends of the channel. Uh, I do recommend at the end of the day, I'll put a little link there, hopefully. Uh, at the end of the day, Bella, she does nice, pleasant um, live streams on YouTube. And it's a very kind community. So if you're looking for somewhere to hang out, just to have a bit of a relaxing time, perhaps away from focusing on these dark, dark subjects, then um, I do recommend at the end of the day. But of course, do whatever you need to do. Whatever's going to take your mind away from these dark moments. I feel like there is a benefit in um, allowing ourselves to feel to feel however we do feel about these subjects. I, I feel there is value in that. Like I'm angry right now and I have been for the last close to an hour about this subject. Because this isn't the first time I try to make this video. Um, I'm angry. And generally being angry isn't that great. But I don't know. It just seems like right. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Anyway. Uh, please do comment as well. Let's let's try to get to know each other. Uh, do some comments. Make, make some comments. Uh, maybe you guys in, in chat can in the comment section can get to know each other if you do subscribe and watch these videos um and uh, I, I am thinking about doing some live streams um so i wouldn't mind some feedback in regards to that anyhow again thank you very much for listening